Hello and good morning from BBC One. It's Friday and now at six o'clock we'll start with breakfast. Hello, good morning. This is Breakfast with Bill Turnbull and Louise Minchin. Warning of a teacher brain drain from England's chief inspector of schools. 100,000 from the UK are currently teaching abroad. Sir Michael Wilshaw says it's contributing to a critical shortage of talent. Good morning, it's Friday the 26th of February. Also this morning, football's world governing body FIFA gets a new president. Today, the vote will choose the successor to Sepp Blatter, who resigned after a corruption scandal. Good morning, Missile Pima Protection Insurance has cost the banks billions, but they're still sit setting aside money to pay compensation. I'll be looking at when the scandal might end. In the sport on the pitch, a teenage dream in Old Trafford as 18-year-old Marcus Rashford scores twice on his debut to rescue Manchester United in the Europa League. Four mums from Yorkshire become the oldest women's team to row across an ocean. We followed them from the start and we're with them at the end of their epic Atlantic crossing. Hello and welcome to Breakfast with Kate Silverton, Susanna Reid, Louise Minchin, Naga Manchetti and Bill Turnbull. <laughs> So many. Uh, it's Bill's last day here at breakfast. After 15 years of early starts, we have memories, fond farewells and plenty of tissues. Yeah, Kirk is in charge of those and she's here in the studio with the weather. I bought the company, Billy. Good morning. It is a cold start to the day once again. We've got some frost around, showers across the south and the west. Some of those could be wintry, but for many of us, it will be dry with sunny spells. I'll have more in 15 minutes. Thanks, Carol. Morning. First, our main story. Urgent action is needed to avoid a brain drain of teachers from Britain to other countries.